What's up everybody, Mel here, and today I'm doing a little bit of a different thing with the vlog. Today we're going to put up a recipe. Now, I'm recording this recipe. This is my German apple crepe recipe. I would do this in my kitchen with actual ingredients. However, I have a kitchen that was designed in the 1940s. It is tiny. There's nowhere to put for me to put the ingredients, a camera, and myself, and comfortably be able to do things without knocking everything over the floor and potentially destroying a camera. Let's face things, I'm not exactly the most coordinated human being on the face of the planet, so you'll have to settle for this. I apologize for the lack of visual aids, but hopefully this gorgeousness here will get you through everything. Anyway. First thing it's going to be called, the actual name of it is Eichuchen, or Eichuchen. I forget my German, it's horrible, I don't speak German, um, but it's literally, that's what we've been calling it since my father, my, you know, this came from my grandmothers who were from Germany. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, I'll tell you exactly what to do. First, we're going to do the filling. Now you want to get two to three apples, depending upon how much you want to make. Let's say two apples okay you want to peel them slice them coat them with a little bit add a little bit of uh water to a pan or just or not a pan you can use uh, either a, a skillet or you can use just a you know a saucepan whatever um put them in just a bit of butter and a, just a, like a like maybe two or three teaspoons of water cinnamon a little bit of sugar cane sugar if you have it and cook the apples down to they're they're translucent and like they look like a pie filling. You'll get a nice like syrup with it too. Just put that off to the side. Then what you want to do in a bowl is you're going to use a cup and a half of all-purpose flour. Um, you're going to use uh three teaspoons of sugar, um, a half a teaspoon of salt, uh, one or two eggs depending upon how rich you want it. You can use either. Um. If you want it to be a little bit richer, put two eggs. If you don't want to go all the way, you don't need it. And milk. Now, milk, I use skim milk. You can use whole milk, at whatever you're prepping. You can use almond milk, soy milk, whatever works for you uh, based on your dietary needs. That's fine. I usually use, I start with a half a cup of milk and then see, it has to be to a, if you've made pancakes before, it'll be like a little bit thinner than a pancake consistency because these are not going to be like paper thin crepes. These are going to be a little bit thicker and you want them to be a little bit thicker. And then what you do is you just take, once you've got that all mixed up, I just use a whisk together. You don't have to, you know, be fancy. You can sift the flour if you'd like it, um, but you don't need to. Um, just mix everything together. It takes about like two minutes to put this together, really. That's a very simple recipe. And then in a pan, I use a nonstick frying pan for this and a little bit of butter. You don't have to. I just find it makes the, it just adds a little bit of moisture to the outside of the crepe. You, you, you spoon in a little bit so you get a nice coating on a thing uh, on the pan. And you want it to be just about, like maybe two millimeters of, uh, you know, as a rough thing. As a, as a rough measurement, because I'm going to be using technical terms, as you can tell by my use of the word thing and the surface, um, it's going to be like about that thick, so not very thick at all, right? So you're going to put that in, and you're just going to cook it till it gets a little bit brown on one side. Flip it uh, with a spatula. You're good to go. Once it's done, you take the apple pie that because basically you've made apple pie filling you could use apple pie filling if you like you could also use other fruits and vegetables if you'd like take the crepe out put it on a plate put the uh put the filling inside fold it over and you can put either a little bit of whipped cream or some powdered sugar on top serve it you're good to i would make probably like two of these for a good size breakfast or just an after dinner treat you can actually also do this with a little bit of ice cream, if you want a nice dessert, the crepe itself is a little has because you put sugar in it. It's got a little bit of a sweetness to it, um, and you can add other things to it. It's it's perfect for for you know just any sort of light fruit, uh, you know, fruit that you want to put on. Like I said, you could make it a little bit decadent, put ice cream on it. 
be creative. Um, I like to, you can have them plain, you can have them with jelly. They're, it's something that I've been having since I was a kid. Um, and I just wanted to share. So if you've enjoyed this, great. Uh, a little bit of something different today to break up the kind of doom and gloom from the last couple of days. And I know a lot of you are stuck inside. So maybe if you want to give this recipe a try, let me know how you like it. Um, uh, it's pretty simple. The ingredients should be readily available. Uh, so far, I haven't heard anything about the great milk scare of 2020. Thank God it's not toilet paper, right? Anyway, listen, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy this. And I will have probably another video because I want to discuss some of the things that have gone on in the video gaming world later. So you can check back for that later on. But I'm going to get this edited and uploaded. Thank you again for tuning in. And once again, everybody, stay safe, stay well, stay inside. And I will catch you later. Mel out.